thing. This, this is kind of an interesting project. Uh, this is a uh, uh, roll and ready strat. You know, it's got the GK2 pickup sort of built right in. Um, uh, this is uh, John Till, of course, of uh, Janis Joplin fame. He was, uh, he's the guy. He was at Woodstock with her, and the, he's the guitarist on the Pearl album, her most successful album. He has a 1967 Fender Coronado neck that I had refretted uh, for him. He loves the profile on this neck. So we are going to swap out these necks. Now John was pretty adamant about being able to get access to the truss rod and adjust it without having to pull the neck off. This is that sort of multi-use platform. You've seen it in a couple other videos. I had these platforms, a bunch of them made up uh, for my level two students. Uh, use them for slotting bridges and pickup cavities, etc., etc. This is my setup on the tech deck to make that cut to access the end of the fingerboard to adjust the truss rod. Instead of having a thousand tools that each do one job, I prefer to have one tool that does a thousand jobs. And that's the thinking behind the tech deck. And it's basically the same idea with this uh, multi-use uh, aluminum uh, router platform that I use for countless things. Anyway, just want to give you a heads up on that. That's how I set up to do it. And of course, we've got the famous hockey pucks under there. Nothing gets marred and nothing slips. And there you have it. John Till's Roll and Ready Strat with a 1967 Coronado neck on it. So he asked me to put a relief at the end of the uh, fingerboard so he can get access to the truss rod to adjust it if he needs to adjust yeah, it. Good thing we went with a brass nut. You can... We all know how many times that nut just snaps off your regular stock, you know, white plastic nut. Even a bone nut will break. But that brass, no problem. We Zero chance of it breaking off. Done. Once again, look at how close those strings are to the edge. He's done. So we got 1967 Coronado neck on a roll and ready American Strat.